I was at Mardi Gras last weekend, and I got a bunch of beads from strangers. No, I didn't lift my shirt for them. And a friend of mine had a balcony on Bourbon Street, and so we were on it on Friday night, and the swarms of people stretched for over a mile. It was a mob. No one could walk, and the crowd just kind of carried them along. And so all these men accepted, expected women to get naked for them for beads. And from my balcony, I would see every few minutes a series of flash pops, coupled with a roar from the crowd. And I knew a woman lifted her shirt from the screaming masses. I refused, however, to strip for drunk strangers when I knew they expected me to, being on a balcony and all. So men would look up me, look up at me, and stretch out their arms, looking up inquisitively as if to ask either to give them some beads or for me to strip. And since I wasn't stripping and I had plenty of beads, I decided to turn the tables and see if men would accept the same conditions they expected of these women. When they looked up at me for something, I would say, Drop your pants! And they would look at me confused, because the women are the ones that are supposed to be doing the stripping. But in general, I got two responses from the men. Either they would look at me like it was crazy and walk away, or they would shrug their shoulders as if to say, okay, and then they would just start unzipping their pants. Mm. Then they would make a gesture to turn around as if to ask, do you want to see my butt? <laughs> and I would yell, don't Front. And then they would just turn back around with their pants and their underwear around their knees and they'd start moving their hips, which I never asked for, by the way. So over the course of the evening, I managed to get at least 20 men to strip like this for me. And I was amazed that there was this society, this microcosm of society, that allowed this kind of debauchery in the streets, this sort of prostitution for plastic beads form of capitalism, so I was reveling in this bizarre annual ritual when this man, average to everyone else, wearing a gray shirt and minding his own business, decided to look up at me. So I asked him to drop his pants, and instead of disgustedly lo looking away or willingly obliging, he crossed both arms in front of his chest and looked up at me as if to ask, you want me to do what? You naughty, naughty girl. And he smiled and looked up at me. And it occurred to me that I finally found someone in this massive crowd that thinks the way I do. Now, New Orleans has a population, from what I hear, of about one million. But during Mardi Gras, there are like nine or ten million people there. And all I could think was that of all of these people here, I finally found someone who wouldn't blindly do what I asked, but at the same time, wouldn't think I was crazy for asking. Hey. Of course, as I looked at him, I also happened to think that he was stunning. By far the best looking guy I'd ever seen that entire night. He looked like he had style, he was self-confident. But then again, I was nearsighted and was on a balcony drunk at Mardi Gras. So we hit an impasse when he wouldn't strip and neither would I. So his attention, of course, was eventually direct, diverted to other balconies. But I noticed that for the next half hour, for he never actually left from underneath my balcony. And every once in a while, he would turn around and look up at me. Oh, boy, I was thinking the entire time. I know this is no way to start a relationship. Hell, I'm sure this guy lives nowhere near me, and I haven't even had a real actual conversation with him. But he's damn near perfect. And all that time, we were screaming and partying at Mardi Gras, and he would still occasionally turn around and make sure I was still there. And finally, he looked at me, signaling that he had to move on with some of his friends, so I held up my index finger to make him wait, and then I threw a bunch of beads at him. Uh, pardon me, threw them because he was good sports, putting up with my taunting and still not giving in. But a part of me threw those beads because I saw in him that strong sense of values and that sense of self-worth, that sheer love of life, the desire to be alive that I possessed all along and was always looking for in someone else. Wow.